Hello. Welcome to Post-Colonial Space. I'm Masood Raja. And today I'll briefly talk about how to support this educational channel and other educational channels as well. So this channel almost has now become kind of my main job and I will soon start developing different kind of educational series. But as you might already be aware, there are more than 650 educational videos on this channel. Now, it goes without saying that that won't be possible without your constant support. And there are different ways of supporting my channel, but also other educational channels. But all of them do need your support, of course. So first, the simplest way of supporting any channel, but also this channel, is by subscribing to the channel. So as the number of subscribers increases on the channel, its authenticity, its validity, in the YouTube world, right? It, it keeps increasing and it builds a reputation, right? So if you haven't subscribed, if you just subscribe to this channel, you would have supported it, right? Another way of supporting any channel or any video that you like is to watch it all the way till the end. That also figures prominently in what YouTube offers in search results is the time watched. So these are two basic ways in which you can simply, without spending any money, support any channel that you like, but also I would hope my channel. So subscribe to the channel, watch the videos that you need, that you are interested in, but watch them till the end, right? So the, this, is, this actually helps any channel tremendously especially mine and especially mine because it is not a sensational channel about you know things that attract people there is no clickbait right it's just talking about humanities literary studies and occasionally about some political issues now if you go to different layers then beyond that is is how you can financially support a channel directly, and that is by becoming members. So if you are on a computer watching this video, below this video you will see a button that says join. If you click on that, that gives you the options to join the channel as members. It can be a sustaining member, you know, a great supporter, a super supporter. These are the three categories that I made up for my channel. And you can join and become you know, a contributing member. Now it has its own perks, which are explained in the membership page. And if you have any questions, you can always send them my way. Now that will directly support the channel. In other ways, you watching, you subscribing, you watching the videos till the end, and now also becoming patrons of the channel through YouTube. Another way of doing an occasional support to the channel is if you go to any video under each video both on uh, the app as well as on a computer you will see uh, um, a support button it has a heart on it right and a dollar sign i think if you click on that you can actually donate to any single video that you liked or that was useful to you so that's another way of supporting the channel then there are indirect ways of supporting me and my work, right? So remember, all educational channels basically also go and develop other products, I hate to use that word, that are connected to the mission of the channel. So I'm an educationist, so that means what have I got to sell, right? Knowledge, right? Most of it is freely available on the channel, but I've also developed courses. I think I have 16 Udemy courses right now. And all of those courses are always in the descriptions of my videos. You can also support my work and this channel by, you know, looking at those courses and 
purchasing the one that you need or that you like. Now, one thing to keep in mind in Udemy courses is if you purchase them directly from Udemy, the creators don't get a lot of the cut from the sale. But if you follow one of the links below and purchase a course, according to Udemy policies, I will get 95% of the proceeds. So that's another big way in which you can support my efforts. Now, why is it necessary? I mean, you know, we all believe that everything is free, YouTube is free, it should be freely available. So it's necessary in both symbolic and material terms. You know, in material terms, obviously, it enables people like me and other creators to generate some funds through their intellectual work by sharing their knowledge, right? Individually to you, it may not cost a lot. Right? For example, a sustaining membership of this channel is $1.99 a month, you know, which isn't going to break your bank. But if we get 1,000 people to do that, that's a lot of money for someone out of a job, right? That's how little efforts by you and me and everyone else can come together to support my work, but work of other people who are trying to share whatever little they know with a wider audience. So these are some of the ways to support the channel. Uh, if you want additional contribution to my work, you can also go to my website, my life coaching website, which is masudraja.com, also listed in the description. And then you can see if I can help you with any of your projects. I do specialize in academic success coaching. That's my niche. So please see what kind of services you are interested in and then reach out to me and see if we can work together. So, I mean, I hate to belabor the point, but we, we live in a world in which it is almost impossible to sustain life without working for someone, right? We all do that. We all have to do that. But we also live in a, in a world where we are connected literally all across the world. And it is easier to help each other or to help each other sustain what they are doing or even just to tell them, hey, I like what you're doing. Thank you so much for this. There are ways of doing it which do not involve money, right? Like subscribing, watching the videos to the end, sharing the videos with others through social media and others, because that's huge for any channel, especially for an educational channel, the word of mouth. And then beyond that, financially supporting a channel through memberships, right, through supporting individual videos, or by purchasing any of the courses that people like me might have produced and put it out there. Uh, or further than that, you know, actually contracting me or people like me to help you with your projects. So these are some of the ways that you can help my channel, but also any other educational channel that you find useful and that enables you, that helps you. Maybe it's your way of, of making sure that efforts like these succeed, continue and grow, right? And it's a lot of encouragement, even a simple comment by you, which tells me, hey, this video was useful to me, and I always respond to the comments, it is, is huge, right? Especially for someone such as me, right? Who just gave up a career, right? Is unsure of the future, but is trying to stay positive and still do good in this world. So these are some of the reasons and some of the ways in which you can support my channel and in which you can support other educational channels on YouTube, right? And I hope I covered all possible ways of supporting the channel and supporting me, but if you have any good suggestions, if you have any good ideas, I would love to read them. I would love to hear them. Please post them in the comments and I will take them into account and I will, you know, include them in my future projects. But right now, the idea was just to share with you my thoughts on how best 
you can support my channel and my efforts, but also to thank you for all that you've done so far and all that you continue to do. So I hope I can count on your support in the coming months and years, and I hope you keep encouraging me to produce better videos and lectures about things that are important to you, things that can help you enhance your understanding of literary studies, cultural studies, post-colonial studies, history. That's my mission and I'll continue doing so. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you're staying safe. Take care of each other. Be kind and generous and I will now see you next time. Until then, as always, peace and love.